Hey everyone, it's Jesse from Backcountry Forward. I'm just going to do a quick review of a product you've probably heard about. It's the Climate Static V Lightweight Sleeping Pad. Uh, these bad boys are super lightweight, super compact, and I got them for an amazing deal at Atmosphere. Uh, I actually bought myself and Tyler one as well, so we're both going to go out with these on our first backpacking trip and give them a, a test. But just to give you guys an idea of what these look like, I figured I'd show you. First of all, uh, how much do they weigh? Um, these, opposed to the Lux Edition, are supposed to be inflated in 10 to 15 um, breaths. They're supposed to weigh 514 grams. Let's see if that's true. Uh, it's one pound, three ounces, and a total of 558 grams. Um, so it's pretty darn close with the, the stuff sack in there. It's probably about the same. Um, so let's just show you. There you go, that's the climate. And we're just, just gonna lay this out, try to count how many breaths it actually takes to inflate. So we'll see how many. Alrighty, so first thing that I did notice on this is it is a little bit different than the Static V Lux Edition. Uh, it's a twist um, lock valve versus a, a twist and push, twist and pull uh, lock valve. Not a problem, but just something to be aware of. Also, something that I didn't mention in the previous video of the Lux Edition or any of these is that they do have a patch kit that comes with them. Um, definitely pretty handy, some glue, a patch, uh, in case you land on a sharp rock or something. This is durable material. Uh, I don't suspect that that would be a problem. Probably the biggest likelihood is an ember from a fire. If you have this out by a fire, I know I've actually read some people who have said that uh, an ember by the fire, but just don't take these too close to the fire and you should be good. So. Let's count how many breaths this actually takes. It should take 10 to 15. So that was closer to 20 uh, rather than uh, 10 to 15. So a little bit more, which is surprising considering the Lux Edition is technically, I think, half a centimeter wider than this. It has the same R value, if I'm not mistaken. This is an R value of 1.3. I think the uh, Static V is Lux is an R rating of 1.6. Uh, so not a high R rating, definitely need a good sleeping bag. Uh, but as you can see, significantly more narrow. But again, laying on it, I don't feel any floor beneath me. If I sit up, I can feel it wherever my joint hits the ground. But even sleeping on my side, like this, shoulder can't feel anything, hip can't feel anything. So it's, it's a pretty, pretty comfy little mat. And uh, yeah, to give you just a quick size comparison, I actually uh, inflated and brought up the Lux Edition uh, Static V from downstairs. We'll just give those a side by side. So that is the difference right there. I hope you guys can see that. It's about a foot. I actually went to just go grab a measuring tape to give you the exact difference in size, because I think that's a pretty handy thing. And if you look uh, inflated, it's it's about eight inches difference, which doesn't sound like much, but as you can see, it's it's a, it's a significant difference when I'm laying, I mean, if you really wanted to go luxurious, you could double up these. There you go. I mean, you'll never feel the ground. <laughs> Obviously, that's a little extra weight, but um, actually even there, if I sit up, I still feel the ground. But that eight extra inches is definitely the difference between my arms having to be right beside me versus having some extra room in my shoulders and, and, and on my back. So definitely, if you like a little bit of extra weight or aren't, aren't worried about a little extra weight, like a little extra room, uh, the Lux Edition is a great option. If you're going lightweight or if you're a beginner because this is a little bit cheaper, might be something to, to go for. That's why we bought these is they are a great beginner's mat. They were cheap. Uh, we got them on sale as it is. 
So good quality, good starter mat, low R value, make sure you have a good sleeping bag. And I think that about covers it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Please like our video. Any comments or questions you have, please share in the comments section below. And hope you guys are getting out there and having some good adventures. We'll see you on the trail.